Hello, welcome back. This is a geometrical figures video uh, exploring quadrilaterals and other polygons. We're having a look today at the interior angle sum of a polygon. We know the angle sum of some uh, figures. Angle sum of a triangle is 180 degrees, you might know that already. Angle sum of a quadrilateral, any four-sided figure, is 360 degrees. Let's have a f look at uh, exploring the idea of angle sums of different polygons, a whole variety now. Let's have a look at how this works. Okay, we have a rule, or a formula I guess, uh, for figuring out the interior angle sum, the, ang the sum of all the angles inside a polygon. And the angle sum equals 180 degrees multiplied by the number of sides of the polygon with two taken off it. So we take, uh, we take the number of sides of each polygon, we take two from that, and we multiply that answer by 180 degrees. I'll show you plenty of examples here. So angle sum is 180 times S, which stands for the number of sides in the polygon, uh, minus 2 in brackets there. Let's see how that works. So, find the angle sum of a rectangle. I think we might already know this one, but let's have a look. Uh, a rectangle there, how many sides has it got? It has four sides, we knew that. So that 4, the number 4, can be uh, substituted into our formula up the top here where the S is in the bracket. So we can have angle sum equals 180 degrees times 4 minus 2. And we'll do that 4 minus 2 first because it's in the bracket. And 4 minus 2 is 2, of course. So we end up with 180 degrees multiplied by 2. And that is... Uh, 180 degrees times 2. Angle sum is 360 degrees. Now a rectangle is a quadrilateral and uh, and perhaps that's a fact you already know. But let's have a look at a few uh, how this formula works for different polygons other than that. So 360 degrees is the total sum of all, the, all those green angles in the uh, in the rectangle. 360 degrees. Now let's find the angle sum of a pentagon. Uh, let, you, let me uh, show you that drawing there that reminds you that there are five sides in a pentagon. So that number five will go in where the S is in our formula now and we'll calculate based on that. Five minus two in the bracket is three. So we've got an angle sum for a pentagon of three lots of 180 degrees which I'm here to tell you is 540 degrees. So if we added up all those green angles that we have in our diagram, they would add up to a total of 540 degrees for a pentagon. So we'll continue the use of our little formula here. And we'll have a look at a hexagon now. A hexagon has six sides, drawn beautifully there. And uh, so because it's got six sides, we'll replace the S in our formula this time with a six. And we'll do six minus two is four. Uh, once we do the bracket first, as we should. Uh, so the angle sum of a hexagon is 4 lots of 180 degrees, and 4 lots of 180 degrees is 720 degrees. So that's the sum of all the interior, the all the inside angles of, of a hexagon, 720 degrees. And we'll do one more using this formula, and that's the um, uh, octagon. And so an octagon has eight sides, so we'll put an 8 where the S is into our formula and when we do 8 minus 2 from the bracket there we'll get 6 so an octagon has uh, 6 lots of 180 degrees worth of uh, angle size and so uh, angle sum uh, 1080 degrees for an octagon okay so there is a different method we can use that formula 180 degrees multiplied by the number of sides minus 2 in brackets there now there's a little shortcut method I'd like to show you and that is uh, chopping up the shape into a, uh, into a bunch of triangles. I'll show you how that works. And uh, we know that the angle sum of a triangle equals 180 degrees. So if we've got a number of triangles, we'll have the total angle sum of 180 degrees multiplied by how many triangles we have in the different shapes. I'll show you how it works. I'll demonstrate the cutting up of these shapes that we figured out before. We could cut up a rectangle into two triangles by putting a diagonal there. One two triangles and so we'll do two times 180 degrees we know that the angle sum of each triangle is 180 degrees two lots of 180 degrees for a rectangle though gives us the answer that we have an angle sum of 360 degrees which is what we got from the formula as well but um, but this is just a quick quick method I guess so let's see how we might chop up a pentagon into a bunch of triangles and you'll notice how <coughs> pardon me You'll notice how I chop this up. I chop it up uh, starting from the one 
starting position there. I don't chop it up all over the place with different diagonals. I start from the same corner, the same vertex each time and create a bunch of triangles there. So have a look at how many triangles I've created there. I'll count them for you. One, two, three triangles. So this time we'll do three lots of 180 degrees. 180 degrees for each of the three triangles gives us a total angle sum of 540 degrees, which once again is what we got, the result we got from our equation or our formula, um, but uh, it's just a quicker method here. Let's chop up a hexagon quick, uh, carefully from going from the one vertex, joining uh, joining that vertex to uh, one of the diagonals, one, one of the other vertexes there. We'll see how that works. So notice we've gone from the common point over this side here chopped it up carefully and created, as, as you can probably count, four separate triangles and each of those triangles has an angle sum of 180 degrees. So four lots of 180 degrees gives us the angle sum of a hexagon. Four lots of 180 gives us 720 degrees again. But it's just a quicker method. And if we do the same thing carefully with an octagon, notice I'm going from that common point on the top left hand corner there to each of the opposite uh, vertices that I can. Uh, and I have a total of, I think it's six, one, two, three, four, five, six little triangles we can chop that up into. So we have a total of six lots of 180 degrees, which making up the angle sum of an octagon there. So 1080 degrees, uh, exactly the same results as using the formula but maybe a bit quicker for you. Just chop it up into a number of triangles carefully and for each triangle you have in that figure uh, you have 180 degrees worth of uh, angle sum. There you go, two different methods there. One using the formula of angle sum equals 180 degrees times however many sides the polygons got minus two in the brackets or we chop it up into a whole bunch of triangles and we multiply 180 degrees times the number of triangles we have on each of those specific figures. Hope that helps. That finds the angle sum of lots of different polygons there. Thanks so much for that and I'll see you again on peterblakemaths.com.